Hi YouTube, so this is uh, Four Little Ducks, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Dasana uh, wool covers. I have three in the smaller size and three in the larger size. Um, I also have the blue, no this one's inside out. Um, if you guys can see that. My camera doesn't like to focus, sorry. I have to Okay, kinda you can kinda see right there it says Dasana. Um and this one is the 60 or 3 to 6 months and so um, I have I think like 3 of them but well 4 of them technically um, but they uh, I love these now I have used prefolds underneath these um, and but I actually like to use um, fitteds I have a lot of fitteds this one's from the UK. This is the Little Lambs one. And I have, I think this one's, yeah. This one's a Happy Heinies. And I like the Happy Heinies because it has the pocket. So um, I can stuff it with as much absorbency as I feel like I need. Um, it did come with this absorbency which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it came with it but this one has a button on it and the one I have doesn't have a button so I didn't understand that but it is what it is and then I do have one that we received um, all of these came from Europe um, we have family in Germany and so um, they got us this one that's got it embroidered with his name on it and then we have this one which are the pants and I love the pants um, and they're so roomy he's been wearing these pretty much since he got home but uh says I love mom and I love these absolutely um you know we'll never get rid of those but um, another one we do use is the Nikki's a little soccer theme, um, but the Nikki's prefold. I really do like these. I have used the Lulu too underneath there, and I mean, I absolutely love these. Um, I love the fact that like right now he is soaked, and let's see if I can, but the wool is not. So I just pretty much turn it inside out sorry I'm trying to undress him at the same so I just turn it inside out like that and I air it out and I just grab another one and we go again and I mean I'm constantly I feel like I love the wool over any of my diapers they are absolutely the best um this one is a diaper right one but anyways yes so that is my review on the wool um, if you have any questions or comments, um, I'm more than willing to answer any of those. I do have um, one other thing I'm going to show you, and that'll be next. Okay. Hi, YouTube. This is uh, Four Little Ducks, and I am going to talk about my laundry mess here. Um, this is what happens with these. Um, they're a Dasana brand. Um, they're 100% cotton, but um, because they weren't done right um, when they went into the wash, I'll show that to you. This is what ends up happening when they go into the wash, and we line dry these. Um, so let me see if I can pull.
pull apart one. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's a, um, let's see if I can get you to kind of see all of it. In there. That's all of it into the frame. Um, so the way this works, sorry, I'm going to try. So you're going to put the thinner side down and the wings on the outside. Okay. And then you bring what you then you put in all your layers. I use this as an outer layer. It's just like the wool or um, it just doesn't have the PULs. 100%. I mean, this is 100% cotton. There is no PUL. There's no plastic on your baby. Absolutely. So what I normally do is either I do use a fitted um, this is the Lulladoo or, you know, um, I've used Hot spots fitted, um, but I also have done a pre fold um, in this, and I have also done a um, insert. So, like, he usually re will require two of these inserts if I just do inserts um, because he is a heavy wetter. So, we'll just take a a bamboo and a gaffin baby, 60% hemp, 40% cotton one, um, and that would be good for him. And then all you do is then you take these ends, those little wings, and you're going to get them as tight as you can. And since it's cotton, it stretches. So you want to get, so you want it to kind of look like that around your baby's waist. And this side would be inside the baby's waist. And right now he's sleeping, or I would be using him as my guinea pig. Um, and then you take this part, and you're going to place that. So this is the baby's belly right now. And you're going to take this, and you're going to go around the baby. Now this is the tricky part, because you're trying to deal with a wiggly baby. You're trying to make sure this part doesn't come undone and then you're also trying to make sure this part gets around the back and gets as tight as it can around that baby and then you make a little tie here and so and then it looks like that it's kind of like a little 1950s ish but it is 100% cotton. And then I just pretty much leave him just like this. And we'll put a t-shirt on him. And then once this starts to feel a little moist, you know, like I'm starting to feel a little moister, then I just completely take it off of him. And the way you're supposed to, when you get it all off of him, you know, let's say this is all soiled and everything, um, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take your inserts out and then you take these ties and you're supposed to do what's considered like a, a double knot like this. So then, you know, it's got the little loop on it and that's how you leave them and that's how you wash them. And the reason being is because like you saw my original mess if it doesn't happen this is what happens and then you have to spend a good 10 minutes just undoing that but I'll tell you the truth I don't always do it as you can see so but I do know that that's what's supposed to happen um, and you'll get far less kinks and stuff I really do enjoy this um, this is great especially when we're just sitting at home we're not doing anything I know we're not going anywhere and I'll just throw this on him and I can throw all of this right back into the wash and it's easy peasy it's great um, it does take a little bit of work to figure out you know sizing and baby and all that stuff and you know also trying to work with your baby because You've got to lift your baby up and your baby's not used to doing that with the diaper because, you know, you just take it over here, you snap, snap, and 
or Velcro, and then you lift up your baby. Or this one, you know, you're having to really get lift up your baby, use your fingers, get back there, and then, you know, do your little tie. And it also, um, my son's now starting to get to the age where these are exciting. Um, they're worth pooling and playing with. So we're actually getting to the age where I have to tie it behind back. So I have to um, tie it behind him. And then when I get up front, I usually have enough that I can go back to the back and then just get a little tiny knot back here. Um, just because he does want to chew on these and play with these. Um, but sometimes I can just put the shirt over it. I know the time's coming where I'm not going to be able to keep them in the front. So they are great for younger babies, especially with multiple changes, and you can just slap it on, slap it off, and be done with it. So, and I think my camera is telling me it's done recording. <laughs> All right. Um, if I don't, this isn't recorded, then I will um, let you guys. I'll redo it. But uh, if you have any comments or questions, put them down below. If you like, hit the like button. Thank you so much. Hi YouTube. So uh, today I'm going to show you with my model um, how to put on the Dasana organic cotton um <laughs> you gonna hold on to it okay well so um what we we're gonna do today just um for the video and i've done it before too is i have a nikki's um fitted sorry couldn't come up with the words uh on it's got little soccer balls on it it's really really cute so, anyways, I'm going to try doing this without making you guys get seasick. So this is going to be fun. Okay. Hopefully. Um, Maybe. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. Um. So, you want to take it, and you want the, I'm trying to see if I can show you the best way. Okay, so there's, you know, I folded it in half, because it's just one piece. So then, where the strings are, sorry, where the strings are, um, you fold it in half, <laughs> and without the baby grabbing it. So... It's going to kind of look like that. There's, you can see the two pieces, hopefully. Um, so, and you want the thinner side um, on, under the baby. And the kind of thicker side, my camera, focus on that, on the outside. So, let's see if I can do this and show you guys. So, you're going to lift up the baby. Okay. So, I'm trying to see if you guys can see. But there's, it's going to look like he's got like little wings. Um, because the thin part is underneath him. So you take these two, and just like this, you're going to wrap it around the baby's <coughs> belly, okay? And then you take this part, and you're going to bring it up. And as I've noted before, this gets kind of difficult with a squirmy, wormy baby. <coughs> but they're bulletproof, so... And then you lift the baby up and you bring the strings from around. And then what I do is I usually tuck this down if I have enough to cover up. So 
and then you just tie that. Yeah, he's getting a little grouchy right now. Okay, so and I've just I've left them, um, and you can see that they kind of start to come undone. So yeah. Uh, and then you just take the legs and you're just going to fold them up just like how you do any of the pre-folds. I just tuck them into the fitted to give them a nice little comfortable look. But and that's how it looks. You can fold these down. Um, my problem is, is that, as you can see, as he moves, these thing moves. So I'm gonna have to figure that part out. But I love using these. It's just, um, they are definitely for someone with a lot of patience because it has taken me well, four months to get them figured out. So yeah. Um, if you have any questions or comments, link them below. If you um, like, hit the like button. All right, thank you.